We are one step closer to the official unveiling of the UCS Star Destroyer. There is also a heavy rumor about the possible future Simpsons sets. Lego is introducing a new audio and braille instructions program and Disney was absolutely on fire on their D23 Expo. My name is Mike and welcome to the cool news. Before we start, I want you guys to check out the links below. There is a link to my Facebook page and also I started a Patreon. If you wish uh, to support this channel, if you wish to help me continue doing videos, you can always uh, pledge through Patreon. I appreciate every single support from you guys. Links are below. Thank you so much in advance. As many of you might know already, the set numbered 75252 is the possible next UCS Star Destroyer. It was rumored to have 4784 pieces retail for 700 bucks which is insane but lego did tweet a teaser uh, this week with the room and the rumble going in like something big is flying in and there's a shadow of that triangle that we all know and love and the whole unveiling will be happening on september 5th so stay tuned for hopefully official pictures and all the information that comes with this highly anticipated set I do have some surprise for you in the coming uh, weeks as they're gonna get close to the unveiling, but that is a stay tuned status, so stay tuned. Also, I wanna talk about the Disney D23 Expo, all things Disney convention that was happening a few days ago and there was a bunch of things happening for us LEGO fans, one of the small rumors that slipped on one of the panels from Matt Groening, the creator of Simpsons, is that it is possible that the uh, Simpsons set may come back. No dates, no details, no nothing, just a hint from the creator of the show himself. Well, as you know, Disney right now owns Fox, which is Fox is the owner of the Simpsons, right? So a comeback of this set is highly probable, probable given the fact that we even have a, had a brickhead of Krusty and Homer not that long ago, which means Lego still is in possession of the Simpsons. And those sets from back in the day, the Quickie Mart and the Simpsons House, and along with the collectible minifigure series, were super popular among the fans. So I don't see a reason why LEGO would not come back to this theme with more sets like the school or like a lot of things can happen from that show. It's like a 20 years of running show, whatever. But if Matt Groening says so or hints so, I think that might be true. So hopefully more details will pop up quite soon. The expo also showed the uh, another special teaser of the Rise of the Skywalker movie. And uh, you know, we're all Star Wars fans, we are super excited about this, but I did look at the trailer with maybe a possible sets that may be happening in LEGO with the launch of that movie. So if you haven't seen it or don't want to see it, please skip the video further ahead because this trailer gives some hints or things or fan theories that may uh, disturb some people. One shot that catches the eye is the fleet of the Rebels with B-Wings and Y-Wings flying along the new X-Wing, the T-70s. And they all gather around what seems to be the Seer 90 or maybe specifically the Tantive 4. Now I'm not saying that we're gonna be expecting another Tantive 4 set because basically we just had a great model of the Tantive 4 launching like a month ago. But uh, the comeback of the old fleet means that we may have a, a new B-Wing in LEGO or a new Y-Wing, that's actually unnecessary, but maybe some of the older ships from the classic trilogy that seem to be having a comeback uh, with like a resurrected fleet out of nowhere in that movie, which is very exciting to see. There's a Sith, uh, Sith 3PO, as people named him. Uh, the 3PO has red eyes in one of the scenes, like he's having some sort of a Sith vision or whatever, he's, he's turning uh, red in his eyes, which was never seen before. So a minifigure of this guy might be possible in one of these sets from that movie. Uh, really interesting theory, what, what this is all about. I wanna see, of course, uh, when the movie drops. In one of the shots, Ray is training on some sort of a jungle planet, Dagoba, not really, uh, but uh, she seems to be training with those that one of those droid uh, training bots that Luke was using on the on board the Falcon in the first movies. So maybe a set with like race training and the bot in that um, mini droid form. Who knows? Also a, a speculation. And yes, the biggest spoiler or shocking scene is the the closing scene of the of the trailer. Uh, Sith Ray holding what seems to be a Darth Maul uh, pocket knife edition Swiss Army foldable lightsaber. Well, um, many people say it's a vision, it's some sort of like a Dagobah-esque 
thing when Luke was seeing Vader in his visions on Dagobah with Yoda, so Rey may be experiencing like what she would be if she turned to the dark Sith side. What I know is whenever something like this happens, something shocking like this happens in a Disney trailer, it is usually not true and just an illusion or on what actual uh, events in the movie will be. So I'm not dropping any bombs here, I'm not saying that Sith is gonna take over Rey, but I think a minifigure of her in that form might be pretty awesome and also a set that comes along with it. Rise of the Skywalker also received a poster, here you can see it on the screen, and The Mandalorian Show, written by Jon Favreau, about the mysterious bounty hunter of Mandaloria, uh, also had a very dark, uh, very uh, gore-ish trailer, which I really liked, it seems like kind of a Rogue One kind of storytelling, this grittiness, the war behind the whole like Jedi saga, I want uh, Lego to explore this area more. And we still don't know who the Mandalorian is. It may be some, some really cool like uh, twist, some really cool drop of maybe somebody like fulfilling the legacy of Boba Fett. We don't know and this is what makes this whole series exciting. This show might be worth a catch. Can't wait for more unveilings. On a side note, uh, during the D23, Disney also unveiled some details on their upcoming hotel that will be connected to the Galaxy Edge uh, sections of their parks. It's basically a cruise ship in a hotel, like a space cruise ship. It's gonna be called Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. It's gonna be run by Chandrila Starline and the name of the ship is Halkion. Hal Halkion, I think that's, that's how you pronounce it. Basically you enter the hotel and you like enclosed for a maximum two or three day trip for like three grand. I think it's gonna be like five or six grand for a group of five. So you book a room, for a lot of money for three days and you're feeling like inside a, a, a starship inside the Star Wars universe. All the windows are projecting space outside like you're flying through, there are probably gonna be some like ships flying alongside you, no daylight, only space and all the characters will be on board like there is some concept art showing Chewie, there is like stormtroopers patrolling the lobby of the hotel I think if I get a group of friends of four, maybe you guys want to go, we can like split the cost and get a $5,000 cabin on such ship. I would definitely like to experience this. Who knows, maybe there's gonna be a Lego model of the um, ship that is uh, being portrayed by the hotel. I certainly wish to be so because it looks pretty cool on that model they unveiled on the D23 Expo. Okay, back to the LEGO news. Uh, LEGO has announced a new program to create uh, audio and braille instructions for visually and hearing impaired people, which is awesome. This one is coming from Matthew Schifrin as an initial initiator of the idea. He's a blind entrepreneur and is also into LEGO very much so, and he created some prototypes on how people like him can experience Lego bricks like everybody else. Uh, I think his idea got picked up by Lego, obviously, and now they are uh, launching the whole program. In the pilot of the program, you will be having uh, four sets to start with. It's uh, one from the Lego Classic, a Lego City set, a Lego Friends, and a Lego Movie 2 set, just to see how it goes and so that they can get the process right to make sure that instructions in that form are uh, high quality and easily accessible to whoever needs it. The website is legoaudioinstructions.com. You can check it out below. Of course, you can send feedback to LEGO on how it's working, how you what you think about it. I think it's a program worth supporting because it easily expands the awesome experience of LEGO. And I think that is a something worth supporting very much so. All the links are below. There is also a contest on LEGO Ideas platform about the Harley Davidson, the recently uh, launched creator set. Build an epic ride for the future. You can join. Grand prize, uh, 10 to 69 LEGO creator Harley Davidson, Ford Mustang corner garage set, 500 bucks shopping spree up on shopping spree on lego.com and a thousand dollar Harley Davidson shopping spree for their merch on their authorized website. Uh, definitely worth checking out. The links to the contest are below. The new LEGO store calendar is out for September. As you know, the calendars are no more paper. You can only get them digitally, but the promotions on the calendar are back by popular demand. We have the mentioned free Newbury juice bar from the hidden side. You have to spend 50 bucks on anything LEGO to get yourself a free copy of the set between September 2nd and 15th. There is also the free LEGO storage bucket. LEGO is uh, for some reason doing some extra items outside of LEGO recently, like the tote bags and stuff. This is the next level bucket. 
obviously, and you have to spend 100 bucks to get it. So for me, not the biggest fan of these promotions, but something for everybody, right? We also are getting the free Brickheads Bumblebee with the purchase of $65. This is interesting. It's a normally a 10 bucks set, but now I, I don't think I've seen this before, like a Lego set becoming a gift with purchase later on. And also there is the Wanted Ghost Hunters event. The minifigure swap Monday is coming back and a few other things in the calendar. I'm gonna leave a link to high resolution JPEG uh, file if you wanna take a look and maybe plan yourself a good and lucrative Lego store visit in September. And if you're into like small Lego merch, decorative items for your home, Lego is launching the new magnet sets that look like studs and one by one plates. Uh, they are kind of in conjunction with those wall hangers that we had before, magnetic and all this stuff. They're gonna be cheap in the gift center uh, section of Lego stores. So something for everybody. I think that's pretty cool. Also, a few cool videos were launched this week. Beyond the Brick visited the Bricklink warehouse, which I was surprised about the size of it. As you know, Bricklink uh, launched the a uh, set program uh, where they were like having a designers submit their ideas and it was happening a few months ago. Now uh, they're actually sending these sets to the backers of that crowdfunding campaign and they have a whole warehouse that Beyond the Brick visited. So that's, I think, pretty awesome. You can also take a sneak peek into Bricklink offices, which is crazy big of a company, I would say. I wasn't expecting this to be that big of an office, but it's a cool video, nevertheless. An older video I want to mention is the uh, Charboss Lego Technic Creations channel, a small Lego Technic builder that created something I missed, Lego Technic 128 McLaren 720S build. And not only the build is absolutely excellent, the cinematography on, on that video, how he captured this beautiful model is top notch, like beyond anything I've seen recently in the Lego filming community. Check it out, there is a link below. Kudos to the builder for video and kudos to the amazing uh, designs, uh, design skills that he pulled off creating this insane model, what happens to be one of my favorite hypercars. And that's gonna be a wrap for this week's news. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, comment below what you think about this week's unveilings, what you are the most excited about. I'm always happy to read those comments and respond to as many as I can. Click the like, click subscribe, all those buttons that help me grow the channel. And there's also the Patreon link if you wish to support me, if you think I'm worthy your support to help me continue doing regular videos on this channel. I would very much so appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was Mike. And I'll see you next time on The Cool Factor. Bye-bye. Oh, hey, it's me again. You can click those videos too. You know, I make videos so you can just check them out. I just reviewed this guy. So there is a video somewhere here as well. You can subscribe to all this stuff. You know, I, I keep revealing myself. I'm gonna go now. Bye.